A one of a kind program that's serving young girls and women whose mothers have died is making a significant difference on the East Coast. So much so that there's now an effort to get this same program up and running right here in Southern California. This is a special story. Marla Teas is here with more on Empower Her. This is really an enlightening uh, moment for me in doing this story. I quickly learned when a young girl loses their mother, not only do they lose their role model, but they're left in a world where they don't often meet another girl who knows their very same pain. And that's precisely why one woman took action. I'm 42 years old. My mom died when I was nine years old. It was extremely unexpected. She was 53 years old. My mom died when I was 10 years old and there was nothing for me. Three women who'd otherwise be strangers, united by the unspeakable loss of their mother. I didn't know that it was survivable. And brought together by Kara Belvin, who turned the death of her mother, Kit, and her personal grief into an empowering force. I had a lot of support after my mother died, um, but I never met another girl whose mom died. That's why I started Empower Her. Kara's 2013 creation, Empower Her, began simply as a Mother's Day retreat to help a few young motherless daughters feel a little less pain on a day dedicated to the woman they're forced to live without. Today, it's a full-fledged nonprofit serving 200 girls year-round, all experiencing growing up without their mother. And whether it's through dance or just good old-fashioned girl time with a mentor, Empower Her gives these young women a safe space to hurt and heal. Young women like Ava Greco, whose mom Susan died suddenly four years ago. You can't get through the largest loss of your life without breaking down, and Empower Her makes that okay. It is really, truly filling a hole that I didn't even know how deep of a hole that I, that I, that I had from my loss. Anne-Marie Leto lost her mom, Anita, to a brain tumor decades ago. Like Kara, she had never met another girl whose mom had died until she found Empower Her. And this is a group where not only do you feel like you're not the only one, but you're literally empowered by all these young girls. The catch is the group is only run in Boston, Kara's hometown, where it's gotten so popular it's even caught the attention of the New England Patriots and their star quarterback, who recently honored Kara for her work. Given its impact, Anne Marie, also from Boston, moved to Los Angeles with one goal, start a chapter here. That's how powerful I've seen this be in, in Massachusetts and how many girls we've helped. And that brings us to this backyard get together in Beverly Hills. Welcome to the Empower Her Southern California launch. An evening designed to raise money to open that LA chapter, all made possible by Alexis La Montagna, who learned of Empower Her through her friend, Sarah, who's been living without her mom for 20 years. I didn't have anyone that had any idea of the pain that I was going through. A mother herself who still has her own mom, Alexis nonetheless knows the heartache of losing a parent. It hurts every day. Alexis's father, Howard, died when she was just five. She says if only she would have had such an outlet. It would have changed my life. On this night, the bond these ladies share on display for all to see and the unlikely family they become, proving Kara's little idea is working in big ways, though she's not ready to take the credit. In a lot of ways, I think my mother, Kit, started Empower Her anyways. I know that she would be proud. So that fundraiser in Beverly Hills raised close to $40,000, but the thing is they need about 100000 to officially and responsibly start a chapter here because everything that these girls are provided, the, the get-togethers, the retreats, all for free. Oh. So if you'd like some more information about Empower Her, maybe you'd like to make a donation, we have posted a link on our website. That's foxla.com. I think of the things we take for granted growing yes. up. Mother's Day, Absolutely. mom coming to school, those parent nights, those school activities. Mm -hmm. And these girls didn't have that. No, not at all. And Anne Marie says once the shock of losing your mom wears off, then she's still left with the idea that how am I going to go to my first dance by myself yeah. without my mom? All how am I going things. to graduate without my mom there? Yeah. And this is only something that someone else who lost a mom can, can understand. In the ideal world, they want to start empower them to take care of the boys as well. That lost oh. their fathers yep. as well.